I'd like to call to order the eighth meeting of the 2015-2016 Common Council. Would the clerk please read our quote for today. Thank you, Mayor. Eventually all pieces fall into place. Until then, laugh at the confusion, live for the moment, and know that everything happens for a reason. Thank you very much. Would the clerk then please call the roll for the meeting? 14 present. And Alderman Todd Wolf is excused. Please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is uh, the approval of the minutes from our last council meeting. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to resignations. City Attorney. There are two. Uh, the first uh, is from Alderperson David Van Akron. It reads, uh, good morning, Mayor. Due to ongoing time and scheduling conflicts, I will not be available to continue to represent my district. Therefore, I hereby resign my position as District 2 Alderperson effective today, Tuesday, July 7, 2015, respectfully, David Van Akron. The second is from uh, Dale uh, Feld, uh, and it reads, uh, due to a severe medical condition, I'm unable to continue participation with the Board of Housing Appeals. Um, and he goes on to, with some other uh, discussion about that and other things. Uh, apologizes for the inconvenience and says my best to everyone, uh, Dale Feld. Thank you very much. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Any discussion? Seeing none. You have my comment? Go ahead, Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd just like to thank each of those individuals for their service to the community and wish them the very best as they go forward in their future endeavors. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of accepting the resignations, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. I'd also like to just uh, let the public know that uh, the vacancy in the second district includes wards four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And anyone living in that district may submit a letter and a resume to the city clerk by Friday, July 31st. And the council will be voting on Monday, August 3rd uh, to fill the vacancy. Next, we'll go on to item 1.5, appointments. City attorney. Thank you. Uh, the first one uh, from the mayor, honorable members of the common council, I hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration. All the person Todd Wolf to be appointed to the following committees to fill the unexpired term of Eldon Berg, uh, finance and law and licensing. And then addition, that's signed by the mayor. Additionally, uh, honorable members of the common council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Roy Kloos to be considered for appointment to the Joint Review Board as the LTC representative to fill the unexpired position of Cindy Dross, whose term expires on April 30, 2016. Also signed by the Mayor. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, first, I'd move to suspend the rules. Second. Thank you for that motion. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you. Move to confirm. Second. Thank you for the motion and support. Is there any discussion? Seeing none. Will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Uh, next, we'll go on to public forum. City clerk. Uh, we have one person this evening, Henry Capsillo. Evening, Henry. Could we have your home address, please? Yes, that's 1619 North 38th Street. Wonderful, and you will have <coughs> five minutes. Okay. Um, I'd like to thank the mayor and council members. Um, also, I'd like to thank uh, Chad Palachek. Um, we forwarded him a poster for our brat fry that we had this Saturday, and he put it up on the city website. And we did get quite a bit of number of people out there. So we thank you for supporting the Gateway and for Chad for putting that up and 
disseminating that information out. I know I emailed some other people in the city, so, and uh, I'd like to thank them. Um, also, the chief, chief, thank you for stopping and thank you for your donation. Thank you for supporting the Gateway Neighborhood Association. Um, the, the police department has been exceptional in supporting our Gateway Neighborhood Association. Um, the reason I, I came today was um, we submitted a, a proposal to the mayor's leadership cabinet and we did get approved for the development of a business association for the Gateway Neighborhood Association. And um, I'm pretty sure for all of you who don't know the boundaries for the Gateway, it's we have uh, president is from Superior to Ontario and from 9th Street to uh, Erie Avenue. And uh, we're, we're primarily going to be concentrating on Michigan Avenue because we'd like to uh, formalize that and get that uh, pretty good start there and then expand. But we will have a representative from the other corridors, which would be Superior, Huron, um, and uh, Ontario, and Erie will have one person that will we'll try to get for that. Um, the, we, we're already getting quite a, a bit of support. In fact, I've, I've heard from a number of people, um, some good and some things that uh, they'd like the city to look at. So at your first meeting, Mayor, you'll probably get an earful. So uh, nothing real bad, but uh, things that they got wish lists of things they want. So I uh, would like to concentrate the city to do so. But um, in addition to that, we have uh, supported the, the, the um, Michigan Avenue business corridor. And in fact, on August 8th, so everybody knows, we are going to be having a sidewalk sale for Michigan Avenue. And um, if you drove down Erie Avenue, right on the corner of Erie, right down the street from Burger Ship, Burger, or Burger King, you can see two banners. Um, one is, uh, you can see it from, from Erie Avenue. The other one is on 13th Street. And the, the banners are from the Gateway Neighborhood Association and Michigan Avenue um, sidewalk sale August 8th and it's regular business hours. So we're hoping that uh, people come down and shop and for everybody out in the audience in the city that we'd like to have them come and shop at the Michigan Avenue. I know some of the businesses are going to be doing some special promotional things. I talked to Trilling Hardware. They're going to be putting like a $25 or 25% discount on certain items under $25 in support of it and other th items that they're going to, he said, at rock bottom price. So um, we're asking people to come and shop on Michigan Avenue. And um, in addition to that, on August 8th, we are also having a family block party that's for the Gateway um, area and again it's going to be a family oriented effect event uh, we're doing in, in conjunction with remedy and pastor bob abel uh, there's going to be a lot of activities for children a lot of games we'll have a dunk tank we'll have a bouncy house we'll have a lot of uh, uh, other games that we'll have um, also if uh, you're interested we have positions opening for the dunk tank so anybody that wants to uh, get dunked, please get a hold of me. Uh, you can call me on my cell phone, 912-4067. We're looking for anyone. In fact, we're looking for volunteers. So if you'd like to get dunked, please give me a call. Um, so the, um, the family activity that we're going to have is it's no alcohol. It's basically just for promoting for business or for uh, the families in the area. I know in the past we had a block party on Michigan Avenue. That was more for entertainment. And one of the reasons that we wanted the business association was because... Would you like your extra minute? Yes. Okay. Um, we wanted them involved because a lot of the businesses said, you know what, I wish I would have liked to have known before some of the things and whatever. So this year we said, you know what, let's get them together. And they're saying, yes, we'll help you plan it. So 
we're looking forward to next year that we will again apply for a, a uh, street uh, festival. And at that uh, festival, it is going to be more for entertainment and like we did last year or the previous year where we will serve beer. But um, we, we did a pretty good job last year. I know the chief was there and we, we definitely want to support all the businesses in that area. So again, remember that date. August 8th, regular business hours. Please come and shop on Michigan Avenue. Thank you very much. Thank you, Henry. Thanks for all you're doing in the Gateway neighborhood, Henry, and the rest of your board. Thanks, Henry. Next, we'll move on to Mayor's announcements. I uh, just want to remind everybody about the Meesefields Lakeshore Weekend that's coming up this Thursday, Friday, and Saturday at uh, South Pier District. And we also want to remind you about our Senior Activity Center. They're having a Christmas in July craft fair on uh, July 21st and 22nd from 9 to 3 at the Senior Center on 428 Wisconsin Avenue. Then we'll go on to the consent agenda, which includes items 2.2 through 2.10. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all reports of the committee, and put all resolutions and ordinances upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage on the consent agenda? Thank you. 14 eyes. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to reports of officers. Items 3.1 through 3.12 will be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, uh, items 4.1 through 4.4 will again be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, Item 5.1 is an RC by finance to whom is referred resolution number 49 of 1415 by Alderman Hammond awarding the sale of 4,310,000 in general obligation promissory notes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd also uh, like to take 5.2 with that. Um, it's a complimentary document if that's okay. Very good. Um, 5.2 is the 2.375 taxable general uh, GO refunding bonds that were part of this deal, and I would move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Uh, Carol Wirth, our bond counsel, is here. If anyone has any questions on this, I, yeah. Alderman Hammond? I've moved open to Florida. Carol Wirth. Okay. Carol, please step up. handout that I'll uh, distribute copies for you down the road here. <coughs> Thank you. We're good. Okay, good evening. Thank you for the opportunity to appear before you. Um, the council will be considering two resolutions tonight. Uh, both of them are to award the sale of notes and bonds that uh, the city issued in the municipal bond market today. We went to the bond market and took bids. Uh, one issue was for $4,310,000. 
That is for two, two purposes. One is to finance part of the city's capital improvement plan. It's about $3 million. The other is to refinance existing city debt just to save money because interest rates are lower. Existing debt is outstanding, about 3.35 to 3.85%. The other issue uh, for 2735000 is a taxable issue, and that is being issued strictly for the purpose of refinancing existing taxable debt. That's outstanding at 5.7%. So the process is to prepare um, a full disclosure document called an official statement. We distribute that in the marketplace. We also go to Moody's Investor Service for a bond rating. And I'm very pleased to inform you that Moody's Investor Service has reaffirmed the city's AA2 bond rating, a very, very high quality bond rating, so congratulations. With that information distributed into the bond market, we then take bids. And so this morning was the time when the bids were submitted. And uh, Sheboygan was very, very well received in the bond market. We actually received 10 bids for <coughs> the note issue and seven bids for the bond issue. And that's, uh, that's very unusual. You normally get about four or five. So uh, you are very, very well received in the marketplace. The note issue, the $4 million issue, was purchased by a firm called BOSC Inc., BOSC Inc., uh, and that is the trading desk of the old M&I Bank. And their winning bid is a true interest rate of a 1.68%. Okay, and a part of the issue that was done for refinancing, the savings generated was $41,193, and that's net savings. That's net after the cost of issuance. Okay, the taxable issue, the $2,375,000, we took seven bids. The winning bidder was from a firm called Raymond James and & Associates, and they're out of Florida. And their true interest rate was a 1.33%. It's a, it's a shorter issue. It only goes out three years, where the other one goes out nine years. So uh, the net, that issue is done strictly for interest savings. So again, the net savings on that issue was $179,817. So your action tonight would lock in those interest rates. The city does not receive the money until August 4th, but you are no longer at risk for a market movement. Okay, your action tonight locks in the rates. So you receive the money in August. You deposit part of that into your project account for your capital improvement projects, and the rest of the money goes into debt service and is used to pay off your existing debt. Some of it will be paid off on October 1, and, and the taxables will be paid off on November 1. So there are certain notices required to be given to the existing bondholders, and we will assist the city with disseminating those notices. Okay. Carol, thank you very much for that report. Are there any questions? Thank you very much. Okay, thank you very much. Under discussion, Alderman Jose. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, are we voting on these separately or together? Excuse me? I think two meetings ago with these were together I mean but are we voting on today separately or together the two different bonds? right now the motion is keeping the two of them together is there any further discussion on the motion seeing none will the clerk please call the roll for passage Thirteen eyes, one no. Motion, motion passes.
And with that, it's official. The next item on the agenda is 5.3, which is an RC by finance, to whom was referred resolution number 51 of 1516. Alderman by Alderman Hammond authorizing and entering into a contract with Sheboygan County for upgrade and replacement of our radio equipment for city departments. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Move to accept and adopt and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Under discussion, Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I read over the document, and unless I missed it somewhere else, I was just wondering what the amount is that we're, uh, for the contract we're entering into the, uh, with the county. Uh, Alderman Hammond, can the administrator uh, please give us a report on that? Jim? Thank you very much. Anything else, Alderman Bourne? Thank you. Okay. Any other discussion? See none. Will the clerk please call the roll? Sure. 5.3. Sorry, I got to go back to my <clears throat> screen. Okay. Got it. 14 eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.4 will be referred to the Public Protection and Safety Committee. And under ordinances, item 6.1 will be referred to the City Planning Commission. And under matters laid over, item 7.1 is a resolution, number 46 of 1415 by Alderman Hammond, Koth, Carlson, and Donahue, authorizing the transfer of appropriations in the 2015 budget for the wave attenuation study at the Harbor Center Marina. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Fourteen eyes. Motion passes. Other matters? City Attorney? We have one, 8.1 is an RO from the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending December 31st, 2015 and June 30, 2017. That will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to adjourn. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of adjourning, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? We stand adjourned.